Monday, August 10th, 2015. How to identify reliable opinions. I check with others who have different varying experiences to form opinions about unknown topics. This can either be achieved through gossip or actual presentation of evidence and arguments. The two tend to get mixed together to some degree. The only way to quickly figure out if information may be true is by using logic. However, the language of logic is not as popular as it is useful. This means that most people do not verify the gossip they hear in any methodical way. Knowing this, many people take it on themselves to inform the public regularly. Politicians, news spokesmen, media representatives, and so on. All of them make a salary from passing on gossip to people, which more often than not is unverified and false. Also, due to the ease of access and vagueness of information, their followers become dependent. Those public speakers become their daily source of information and social entertainment. Their window to the world, so to speak. There is only one way to avoid false reports and useless gossip so that you make opinions that reflect reality and are helpful to you. Having standards. Well, we all have different standards, so the requirement is high standards. What do you know about the person speaking? Would they have incentive to lie? Do they verify their own sources of information? Are you being told about research that is financed by a group with a particular interest? Research financed by tobacco companies showing no correlation between smoking cigarettes and lung cancer is not a surprise. News channels censoring any incriminating items about their sponsors or anyone related to their funding is again not a surprise. Even medical companies sponsoring dangerous pills that cause more harm than help when it comes to the wide public is only economically expected. So doubt both the person and the information they speak. Ask questions and see if there is any resistance to providing evidence. Look for falsifiable arguments and statements and see if they are actually being supported by the evidence.